belt, world tag team champions, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, and the heavyweight champion of the world, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Brother, and have I got a lot of material to crack on tonight. First of all, Magnum T.A., a man who has long since, in his absence, surrendered all his women to the legendary double-A in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm talking about each and every one of Magnum. You are no longer the king of the hill in Norfolk. This is him right here, and I'm his second. So, pal, you plan on staying out of town, because number one, if you get near the ring, you get your lights punched out. If you get near one of our hangouts, your girlfriends spit on you as I walk out the door with us. You like it, Magnum? That's life. Learn to live it. Now, right over here, moments ago, the illustrious Three Musketeers the saviors of our sport came out here and would have the world think that if it wasn't for them, myself, Arn, Tully, and JJ would starve to death. <laughs> well, let me explain something to you three cartoon characters. First of all, Arn Anderson, the baby bull, the enforcer, is younger than all three of you. So if you're talking about young lions, let's talk about the youngest lion with a world title around his waist. You like that, girl? That's how it goes. Now, point number two. When I was your age, that's right. When old Methuselah, when old Methuselah was your age, he was already the world champion for the first time. For the first time. Two well-made points. Number three. Between the three of us, Tully absent tonight, you're looking collectively at a property worth between 20 and 30 million dollars. So you see, 10 years from now, we might go into promotion business, and if you three punks are able to climb the ladder of notoriety and do anything but stand out here and go and walk in front of each other and block the camera and make idiots of yourself, then I'll tell you what, you might get a job working for Ric Flair Incorporated. Think about it. But the way it stands right now, and look at the structure of our sport. When people start getting hurt, our business gets hot and heavy. Okay? Road Warrior Animal. Awesome. He's home right now with a drainage tube stuck through his nasal cavity because he almost lost an eye at the hands of two guys that could eat metal. I'm talking about the Barbarian and the Warlord. And you know what? I don't like being out of the conversation pit. So to raise my name into the conversation, I'm telling you what, Luger, you greased up musclehead punk. Tonight, maybe tonight, in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Omni, Arn Anderson might break your wrist or break your leg. Then what are you going to do? Lay on that couch and shrivel up? That's what'll happen. You'll be a Richard Simmons looking like. No wrist. No leg, you'll be a punk. And you, Sting, think about it, buddy. You've gone, oh! That's what I do in the morning when I kick five girls out of bed. I go, woo! And they go, woo, woo, woo! Because they know they've been with the world champion. So to sum it up, you're talking franchise, you're talking money, you're talking notoriety, you're talking women, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun. You have kissed all the girls and made them cry. That's us. Woo! <laughs> and let's go back to the ring.